One of them sucks. One of them laughs more. One of them smiling. Just waving his hand at you. Wouldn't you agree? What is the name of the project? We've gone through well, a bunch of different gone, things. We have gone through a bunch I of different things. I think right now it's just John and Anna, or Anna and John. Because John writes songs, and I write songs, and we like to play them together because they have a similar tone. I've been doing it for years. way too long. So sick of music. He's really good at it. <laughs> I'm from St. Louis, and she's from South Carolina. South Carolina. I came here for music. I was going to art school and like worked at the police department in Indianapolis, and I didn't like that. When I moved to New York, I got into a band called The Honorary Title, and we toured for a number of years all over the United States, played in England once or twice. And uh, after that, I, I've been, I toured with Adam Green from the Moldy Peaches. And, and I'm in a band right now called Space Camp, which is uh, myself and some great friends. And we write songs, and it's more like pop weirdness or something. I would listen to my mom's records, and then in high school, I was super pretentious into music. And then. <laughs> in a nerdy kind of way, and I just like always listen to music. And then I went through I went through three years of of like really uh, like I had a lot of like traumas happen to me. A lot of sad things happened, so it kind of isolated me. And then I decided to pick up the guitar in the middle of all that, and uh, I started writing songs. I guess they helped me through uh, the days. My first live music experience was very enjoyable it was it was so it was almost it was magical it was a, I, I went to places I didn't think that I could with my music and and I just I just said fuck it and went for it and my first live performance experience took place probably in 1998 and a band in Indianapolis called Puddle Glum that was like a <laughs> like a funny uh, hippie kind of band. We had a mandolin and two clarinetists and a uh, percussionist and marimba and I played guitar and sang and it was nerve wracking. I think it was in a bookshop, our first show, and I was nervous as hell at a bookshop in Indianapolis. <laughs> Live music is important. Well, I think it's one of the earliest expressions of humanity's desire to transcend everyday experience every day just like clapping your hands or beating on a stone or whatever and it's developed into something that is uh, just a beautiful expression of, of what we're capable of as humans and it's very important and I think it'll always be around as long as humans are around